I'm over the moon. Uh, in the last 12 months, uh, I've formed a great friendship with Minister Pradhan. Uh, Australia and India are great friends. We have been for a long, long time. Uh, but our relationship is becoming stronger and deeper every day. And this agreement is just one example of that. Um, when Minister Pradhan visited Australia last year, he invited me to come here to India to sign this agreement. I'm so glad that I've been able to, to come here today to do that. But he also challenged Australian universities to help to implement the big, bold and ambitious national education policy that Prime Minister Modi has set for India. Uh, and we feel uh, very privileged to be invited to be part of this great task. So to skilling in agriculture. Yes. So, so, so a number of agreements were signed here today. First is the mutual recognition of education qualifications to recognise each other's school qualifications and vocational qualifications and university qualifications. A number of agreements were signed between Australian universities and Indian universities to work more closely together, to fund more PhD research together, and also an agreement today by the Australian Government to invest $1.8 million working with Australian universities and Indian universities in the investment and development of agricultural research. Uh, there are some issues regarding visa, mm. uh, visa what, is the, uh, yeah, what is the status now? Yes. Uh, when I became the minister in the middle of last year, there was a big, big delay in visa processing for Indian students to come to Australia. Uh, when Minister Pradhan came to Australia, he spoke to me about this and said, what can we do to help? And I told him that we were putting hundreds of people at work in the Department of Home Affairs in Australia to process visas faster. And that is now happening. The good news is that the visa processing time now has dropped from 40 days to 12 days. And the number of Indian students waiting for a visa has dropped by 75% in the last six months. So that's good news, but there's still more work to do, in particular for PhD students. And I told Minister Pradhan today that the next big task for me and other ministers in the Australian Government is working to speed up the visa processing for Indian PhD students hoping to study in Australia. Sir, uh, there are some uh, differences in the uh, education system in India and Australia. Uh, experts suggest that uh, uh, both countries need uh, some radical changes like uh, in the technology sector or the, uh, uh, some concept in the uh, education sector. What, uh, what do you think? Oh, well, we, we have massive differences of scale. Uh, when the Indian minister tells me about the fact that there are 10 million school teachers in India, it reminds me of the difference in scale. There are almost as many school teachers in India as there are people in Australia. Um, but that doesn't mean that we don't share common challenges and common interests to improve our school system, to improve our, our vocational training system, to improve our universities. And there is so much good that our two countries can do working together to improve our education system, but also to work together on many, many other things. And that's why the Australian Foreign Minister is here in Delhi today. That's why the Australian Treasurer was here last Friday. And that's why the Prime Minister of Australia will be meeting with Prime Minister Modi here in India in only a couple of days' time. Thanks very much. Thank